Well, today, as you can imagine, we're not just reporting events from around the world, but also the loss of one of our own here at BBC World News. I'm talking, of course, about our colleague and friend, Komla, who has been taken from us very suddenly at the unbelievably young age of just 41 by a suspected heart attack. All of us here at BBC World News are mourning his passing. Let's take you over to the world's newsroom and uh, join my colleague, to Tom Donkin. And Tom, hard to believe Kamala was in this very studio just on Friday. It's not just in London, of course, that uh, Kamala's very sudden passing has been felt. Absolutely, Karen. And the, the sense of shock is still lingering in this newsroom because if you didn't know Kamala personally, you knew of him. I mean, that, that infectious laugh and that crushing handshake were just legendary in this newsroom. But like you say, he's not just going to be missed as a friend in this building, but also around the world. And to get a sense of just how much he's going to be missed around the world, we're going to talk to BBC's Focus on Africa editor, Stefan Mayu, who worked so closely with Kamala for, for many years. And Stefan, like I said, he's going to be missed from us as friends, but also by many in the world because because Africa and the world are not just missing a personality, they're also missing one terribly talented journalist today. He was generous. He was truly an icon of journalism, not only of African journalism. He's a model for uh, generations of young, aspiring African journalists on radio, on TV, on radio where he started. He gave a lot and the generosity he put in his work, in his life, in his handshake, as you said, in his bear hug was infectious. And we all have our own Kumla. He's part of us. Every single person in this building, everyone I meet has got a little bit of Kumla. And it's a wonderful and very, very moving thing. Now, he's something of a bit of an anchor for Focus on Africa. He brought a massive bond to that team. So no um, surprises. That's going to be a very challenging day putting a program together today. Um, what can we expect from Focus on Africa this afternoon at 17.30 GMT? It's not, as you say, the usual edition. Uh, both Sophie Kenyi and Peter Okoche, dear friends and very, very close colleagues of Kumla Dumont, will be co-presenting the show. We will cover the news of Kumla's passing because it is what African... African audiences expect this is what we're going to do and we'll pay a very large tribute to the man, to the fr friend, to the journalist, to the colleague in the second half of the program. Just very quickly, Africans themselves saw him as something of an ambassador for them, didn't he? Yes, th th there was a sense uh, among the audience at the recent conference that people saying, Kumla, you, you belong to us, you should, you should talk on our behalf. But Kumla was a journalist, so he was ready to challenge to describe Africa as it is. It's not only about death, this is an destruction. It is also about Africa creating. But he would do both. He would be himself as a BBC journalist. Stefan, thank you very much and good luck with the programme tonight. And Karen, make sure uh, you do stay tuned for, at 17.30 GMT because we're going to hear a lot of reflections from his colleagues and very close friends. We've lost a man of genuine class and a man of genuine positivity today in the newsroom. So uh, do stay tuned for Focus. Tom, thank you very much. Or well, thank you also to Stefan there. A very, very big blow indeed to the Focus on Africa team. It was uh, at their meeting uh, on Friday evening that uh, I could overhear uh, Komla giving uh, his end of programme uh, speech to the team. They were all laughing and joking and having a usual Friday evening chat. Uh, so just unbelievable. But that down there, uh, Komla is no longer going to be sitting on those sofas in those Focus on Africa meetings anymore. Let's end this edition, though, of Impact by giving the Last word to the man himself, the one and only Komla Dumo. And so for me, the most important thing is to know what I'm talking about, to know the stories. And if there's a cool factor, I mean, it doesn't hurt, does it? <laughs>
to experience the to see a loved one you know slowly go through the pain yeah how's that look no and on tuesday full coverage from the palace to the church to the streets of amsterdam Kickoff is just a few hours from now, and you know what? I do work for the BBC, but it's time for me to show my true colors. Yeah, if I can go. hand this over. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the latest BBC News. I'm Komla Dumont. Thank you, thank you.